In this section, we're going to be looking at second order differential equations. Now, I'm just going to introduce you to the form of those in this video. We're not actually going to do any solving at this point. Um, but a second order differential equation just means that the highest order differential equation that you have is 2. So that means that we can have some multiple, some constant multiple of d2y by dx squared. We can have some constant multiple of a dy by dx involved, and some multiple of y, and that's going to be equal to some function of x. Okay, so it's, it looks almost like a, a quadratic equation, doesn't it? It's like ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so very similar to that, and keep that in mind as we work through this section. Okay, so that is the general form of a second order differential equation that we're going to be considering. Uh, so that's the format that we're going to consider. If it is equal to zero, so if we, instead of having it equal to f of x, and we put it equal to zero, we refer to this as a homogeneous equation. Okay, so we have a homogeneous equation, which is this simplified version of this, where we have it equal to zero. What you're going to see as we build our way through uh, this section is that in order to solve differential equations, um, the first task will be to look at something called the auxiliary equation, uh, which we can get from this left-hand side. Um, that is going to then, based on that, allow us to suggest what the answer should look like for the left-hand side. And then we're going to get to a point where we can deal with an f of x on the right-hand side, where we've got to add in another part to our answer. So it's effectively we're going to piece together a solution. Uh, so it's going to feel a little bit strange um, when compared with using the integrating factor for the first order differential equations as we've been doing earlier in this section. Okay, So it's going to seem a little bit weird as we build this up. And that's really due, due to the extra complexity of the problem. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can solve one of these equations um, using methods that we have already seen before we kind of start to make it a little bit easier for ourselves.